is up everybody it is me renee here and today i am back again for another review again guys i am so sorry if i haven't uploaded anything the reason why i haven't been uploading recently is because i've been waiting on some books that i wanted to review however a lot of them aren't coming till the end of this month like being released so um the next book review i'm hoping to review uh review the sea of thieves books that might be coming out and maybe Isle of Dogs, um, maybe the uh, behind the scenes book of that as well. But until those books come out or until I am able to order them, um, I'm just going to pass the time with some minor book reviews, though I think today will be quite an awesome book review. Um, as you can see here, I have the How to Draw, uh, draw Sly Cooper and Friends. Uh, book here. Um, I don't know, not many people reviewed this book, and I can understand why, because it's super hard to find um, for a reasonable, uh, reasonable price. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to find this book on multiple sites, eBay, and Amazon, and Amazon Marketplace, and the prices have just been way too high. Um, this book in particular can range up between, um, from the stupid sellers from, like, $100 to over $1,000. Like, who's gonna pay $1,000 for this book? It's not worth $1,000. It doesn't say the price on this book, but I'm pretty sure the original retail value is probably between $9.99 to $10.99, or even $11 or $12. Bucks. But even that's a little hefty for this book. Um, but I managed to find this book for about 38 bucks, and normally I wouldn't pay that much for something this thin, but since it's so hard to find and Sly Cooper is one of my most favorite um, franchises out there and I don't have any books from this franchise, I thought, well, why not? We'll pick it up. So I broke down and I bought it. Um, but you know, from the seller that I got it from, it's in really good condition. I mean, there's kind of some scuffs and some, a little bit of folds and a little bit of wear, but I mean, it's an old book, so I don't, I'm not super disappointed. Um, anyway, let's just get inside the book and look at it. Uh, as you can tell, it's a typical how to draw book. Um, they show you how to draw all, well, some of the characters. Uh, this is a little bit more detailed than I think the average uh, elementary school uh, kid could draw, but I mean, you could try. But it's a great book overall if you are a huge fan of this franchise like I am. And they have some reposes, which I wish they wouldn't do because I would kind of like some more other characters besides just reposes, but hey. I guess what we get is what we get. But they have some villains in here too. Um, all the villains in the Sly Cooper franchise are very awesome and amazing. I mean there are some that are a bit weak, like Miss Ruby was in my opinion not a very good villain. She was quite threatening but I just, I don't know, I never really had a, I don't know. And John Basson too was just not very good in my opinion, but John Basson is probably worse. But either way, all of these villains had a role in the story and they were both really threatening. It's kind of weird that Sly Cooper is a thief, but I mean, he's somewhat of a good guy. He's not a good guy or a bad guy, he's just, you know, doing what he wants to do as a thief as his family history. And there's Lefui. Uh, Lefui, I have to say that my favorite uh, level in Honor Among Thieves would be... Uh, Dead Man Tell No T Lies, I believe that's what the chapter is called. And the Vee is the main villain of that, and he's very, very, very intimidating. Even though he's small, he's very deceiving, and he has deceived the Cooper gang. Multi I don't know. I don't know, he's very crafty, and he's a little more crafty than Sly, but, you know, in the end, they managed to get... I'm not going to spoil it, but they managed to get... Um, everybody back safely and sound, and yeah. So yeah, in in a way, I would say this book is totally worth picking up if you can find it. 
I would highly recommend that you guys do not pay 38 bucks, but if you somehow are super desperate for it, I wouldn't pay any more than 50 bucks. Not even that. If somebody's trying to sell you this book for like 100 bucks, I would just walk away, because it's not worth it. Um, but overall, this book is really awesome and nice, and it's probably like one of my favorite books in the franchise, and one of the only books, really? Besides the guidebooks and the chapter book that came out, the chapter book is pretty simple to find. That one wasn't hard, but I prefer this one, because this one is pretty awesome and amazing. And I'm just really happy of the condition it's in, and it could be a lot worse, but thank you for the amazing seller that sold me this. So... Either way guys, I'm glad that I'm finally back and reviewing again. I promise that once I find out uh, when these books are released, I believe March 20th, I'll try to pick them up as soon as I can and release them for you guys. But as of now, this is the best I can do. And also thank you to everybody who old and new ha who have been watching my channel. Um, the reason why I do it is just to bring people together and if I can just take a little bit of time out of your day for some entertainment and if this is something that you're interested in then you know by all means I'm glad to show you firsthand and if you're interested then well now you know what it's like or what it looks like in here and if you want to buy it so that's the whole reason why I do these I'm a big kid at heart so that's why I normally do much more I don't know kiddish books on this channel but I mean that's just who I am I really like just I don't know. I just like this type of stuff and, you know, why not enjoy it? Whatever makes you happy, right? So, either way, guys, enough of my rambling. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.